So during this week at TED3, we, the trainers of the organizations, we have worked together as countries and internationally to start developing the toolkit for environmental youth work. So we start combining and, uh, ideas internationally from Latin America and Europe, and we have started developing the next steps of this toolkit for TAT3. From the next steps of TED 3 I'm expecting that people from different countries, especially from South America and Europe, can join the different best practices and local habits and policies. And this can be due to the local workshop and the job shadowing. I really enjoyed the, the afternoon we went to the Pito because uh, we, uh, all the participants could, not, could know the uh, work feel uh, of our project. So I really enjoyed it because it was a cultural exchange from a different perspective in Mexico City. And I could see all of them were really happy and really enjoying the experience. And I felt part of that. Well. Tepito was awesome eh, because of the kids. The kids were playing games organized by Escuela de Paz, which is doing a great job there. They, they are giving them opportunities and the kids were playing and getting gifts and they were very thankful and they were including us in all the activities. They, were, they wanted to share everything with us. And also eh, we visited the neighborhood and we were surprised about the murals that uh, made the neighborhood really alive and the people. It was awesome. What I expect about the job shadowing is that the girls will be able to connect with our reality, our work, social and youth, and with our environment. As well, I would love to know their vision to improve what we are doing in the framework of education, environment and youth. I never thought I would become a member of such an amazing project like TED3, especially in Mexico. I met there such an amazing people that inspired me to work harder and to work with youth as a social worker and uh, I truly believe that I left my heart in Mexico so one day I will come back but for now there's another project in uh, Peru so see you guys in Peru!